You worked in the hop fields, perfectly named for the game you were about to play, to get some attention and a king's pension, a convincing concoction to imply the production of rabbits. By chopping and stuffing bits of bunny up your fanny. <laughs> Wedge couldn't tight till there was total constriction and the topped tinderbox was ready for ignition. Roger Rabbit, you planned it all with the added attraction that you had no need of husband Toft and his useless appendage, Mr. <laughs> Floppy. <laughs> now you had rabbits in your rough claws in your drawers, bits of fluff in your tussy mussy. You weren't really fussy what you stuffed up your pussy. <laughs> As long as there were bunnies in your oven. Night after twitchy, whiskery night, you'd hop onto the bed, thighs clenched, knees knotted securely, in case anything fell out of your hutch prematurely. <laughs> On the doctor's arrival, you would labour and push. Rabbits dropped and gushed from your bush. For all the world, as it looked as if your womb was bristling with energizer bunnies that kept on going, going, going. <laughs> You'd even practice contractions to make your stomach elastic. It could leap and jump in a cottontail frenzy, making the bed all trembly, the sheets shake, the air pulsate, the sweat sweep over your flesh, then watership down. A bunny was born, albeit in bits. The country was convinced that you were in the rabbit habit. Something exciting was happening in Guildford. And the king was told of this hoppity thing, so Mary was summoned to London. Don't be late, don't be late for this very important date. <laughs> and although history records you were sullen and stupid, the king's doctors were completely scammed by what you'd crammed inside. They couldn't explain it. There was no deception. Women have always been baffling in the art of conception. And with amazing confidence, they said these rabbits were being bred in your right fallopian tube. <laughs> they were totally convinced, no hint of a guess, thank the Lord for the invention of the NHS. <laughs> and the upside was the sale of rabbits went down. People just couldn't bring themselves to stew little flopsy mopsy and cottontails that were skipping out of you. And right at the end when it all made you ill, they threatened you with surgically examining your appliance in the name of science, a painful examination that faltered your determination. And you confessed, blessed with the knowledge, that you were bringing these doctors down with you. Congratulations, Mary Toft, you almost pulled it off.